let my gear load the truck Heading out, don't give a truck Rifles, lock boots, tie tight Gonna catch that deer all through the night Hey guys, it's Davey T at Field Sports Scotland here. I am currently out and about um, doing, well, I'm actually in the middle, just finished stalking. Uh, didn't get anything tonight, only saw Heinz. But um, something has occurred to me. I've been doing this review on the Arkin Optic Zulus 3 to 12 and uh, 3 to 3 to 12 times magnification. And it is a fantastic scope during the day and in low light. Now, there's not much difference between that and the 520 in regards to that. However, Arkin have mainly aimed this scope at the air gunner market and uh, the close range market. So, ideal for 50 yard bunnies and stuff like that. Which is a little bit frustrating in regards to it for me because... I do do stuff in the sheds with um, with the air rifle and that, as you know, it, people have seen me doing pigeons and rats and all that before. Um, but a lot of my stuff is done uh, a little bit longer range, uh, past 100 yards, um, especially even bunnies shooting rabbits out to 120, 150 yards or whatever. And um, so getting that extra distance is ideal. Especially as I tend to use the 17HMR these days other than the 22LR because if I come across a fox then I'm not having to fight about and grab another rifle if I... Uh... Now, traditionally to fix problems we would normally use an IR torch like this. And these are quite bulky. Um, they're just a normal torch but they, between in regards to the size of the Zulus um, this is actually a bigger unit. So, I, I like the 5 to 20 because it gave me that range. So tonight, I am, I'm sitting here at the edge of one of the fields. Um, I'm shooting out to, I can shoot out to 300 yards here, but I'm not going to be shooting here unless I see a fox, but I'm not shooting anything just, just now. I just want to do this. Um, so what I'll do is, um, I, the, right, so we'll go back to what I was trying to say about the 3 to 12. Now the 3 to 12 is provided with a 850NM LED IR, not the laser light which is on the 520. However, the quality is severely reduced with the LED and um, it's not particularly great. In fact, in a light, in, when it's light like this, as you can see in my background here, we don't really get that dark in the, in the summertime at this time of year. It's almost midnight. And um, uh, this is probably as dark as it's going to get. And we've got lots of cloud cover tonight. So it's actually raining. Um, so when it gets to this, um, I can actually see pretty well without using the IR. However... I want to be able to use the IR and the problem lies with that is as soon as you put the IR on the quality reduces significantly it's actually better to use it in this light without IR than what it is to use the IR so but here's the thing the five uh, the the IRs on the 3 to 12 and the 5 to 20 are interchangeable they are they can be screwed off and be, um, basically I could put the laser IR from the 5 to 20 onto the 3 to 12.
But what I want to do is I want to do a bit of footage here and kind of show you a difference in quality. Um, which I will do through the scope. So I'll do all the rest of this video through the scope because it's a little bit easier. Um, and what I'll do is I will show you the difference on the 3 to 12 because it's the 3 to 12. And we all know, I, I've already shown everybody what the, the 5 to 20 can do. So it's the 3 to 12 I'm interested in. So what we'll do is I will turn my lights out here. We'll look out into this field and uh, see what we can see. And we'll work the IR, non-IR. And then what I'll do is I will swap over. I'll show you how to swap it over. I'll swap over one IR for the other IR and let's see what the difference is. Catch you in a bit. So as I said, I'm on looking on the 3 to 12 optic here. Now that's 7.5. Now that post there will just range that. Should be around about 200 and something meters. Almost dead on 200 meters, so just over 200 yards. As some of you have seen before, I have a plate up there. I've shot many times. If I can, can't really see it at the moment. Now, this is without any IR on. There's no IR on this. Pro on this, um, I've not turned it on at all. It's not pitch black outside. That's for sure. Now. So oh, that's 388 metres to almost the top of the hill. You can see the pylons and that, and if there was something wandering about up there, we'd probably see it. Now, the rifle's not loaded, so I hope no foxes appear or whatever. Anyway, this is on the 17 HMR. Now, so, we'll take it back to what I know is quite close by so let's do our fence post there it's 103 meters it's usually my Z in, zero in area anyway this area now I'm going to stick the IR on Look at the quality. The quality is very poor. I've done a little bit of focusing. I'll try and focus the IR as well. There it is. So that's in its low. And as we're working it up, to turn it off. So that's one. Again, still at 100 metres. Not ideal. It's not given that clear... We cannot see anything at the top of the hill. Two. Oh, we can probably just get past 100 metres, 130 metres. Let's see what that is. Hundred and thirty metres, yep. And then let's increase the IR slightly. Again, a little bit of focus. And do you know what? You would see a fox's eyes, but that's about it. I wouldn't be... Can't see the fence line. However, if I turn it off... Wow, look at that. I could, I would have probably seen something running along the top of that hill if it was there. This just went on to auto. Auto is trying to adjust the IR to help me see but it's it'll be bouncing back and forward to try and adjust and then I'm taking it completely off IR and we've just looped around the recording 
So I'll have to join those recordings up. And again, I can see back out to my 300 yards. Now, as I said, it's not pitch black tonight. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the, the IR off the five off of this one, which is an LED IR, and I'm going to put it on to take the five to twenty one off of the five to twenty off, which is a laser IR, and then I'm going to plug it in here, and I'm going to show you the difference. So, give me two minutes. Right, I'm going to take. I'm going to swap the IRs over. It's very simple. I can do it in the car. Um, try not to knock these all over. So first things first. None of these rifles are loaded, so it is. Um, I'll take. I'll move these about. There we go. So it's a case of just. One screws off, it's a little bit tight, but that's because there's a water seal in there. One just screws off, like that. I'll put this aside, just now. And then we'll take the one off the 3 to 12. Put you down there just now so it don't get damaged. It shouldn't get damaged. Again. That's the one off the 3 to 12, which is an IRL. IR L eight fifty NM and this is LED so I think L E D I think the L's for the laser rangefinder and this one just says IR eight fifty NM and um, but I know this one is a laser so uh, I think actually sorry L is for LED not laser rangefinder what an idiot so again, just screw that back in. And we'll go back to the scope. So again, no IR on. The lowest magnification is 3, which is great for proper close range shots. So there's 100 metres, look at it. Field of view is actually fantastic. Do a bit of tracking on that. Right, let's turn the IR on and let's see. Oh, first of all, I actually have to change something. Just give me a sec. So, see, the 3 to 12, but the 5 to 20 doesn't have, the 3 to 12 does have. The 3 to 12 has a setting where I can change from 850L IR to 850V. IR. So let's turn this IR on. So that says at your 200 meters. But let's let's make it a fair comparison. Let's uh, let's give it a wee bit of zoom. Oh wow! Look at the zoom. So there's our 100 meters. And actually, let's. Let's make this a little bit thinner. We'll turn the we'll see how far we can go. And this is in the lowest settings. And that's with the laser. We are right up to our 360. Let's see what it's like when we increase. Now I'm in three power. If I wanted to go into zoom. Look at that. Right up to 12. Yes, yeah, I'm full power that really will kill the battery. But, as you notice, bring it back. Don't need full power. Just need. If 
407 meters. Top of the hill. What a difference. Low setting. I well, can widen the field of view if I wanted to. Again, look at that. I am seeing, look at the quality. Quality is far, far different. Far, far different. I want to drop that to there. So that's the difference. Three to two, uh, three to twelve is a fantastic scope, amazing scope. In fact, many ways better than the five to twenty, providing it's got the right IR input. There's a bird. So there you have it. Brightness level up as well. I don't usually use it with a white reticle. So the red reticle. Drop the brightness level. You should write this rival. The 3 to 12 with this IR is absolutely fantastic. Two back three times back to 100 yards, 100 meters. There we go, that's a 100 meter post. And there is no doubt about the quality. How crazy. It is amazing how much difference an IR makes. So here's the difference with the 5 to 20 at night. Have you noticed that the field of view, I've got no IR on at the moment. The field of view is very much a lot tighter. Zoomed in it is five times, is the lowest magnification. If we hit the rangefinder, so we're sitting there, that was 142 yards, which, yeah, to be honest, that's, but if we go to the post, 119 yards, which is around about 104 metres, and we work our way up, work our way up, again, there's our 444 yards, 451 yards, and there's the top of the hill. There. We work our way over here. And again, as you see, you get good clarity. Now it's just for the five times. No. Again, we'll come back. And that's it's up to our 220 yards. That's where my steel plate usually is. One against that post. Let's put the IR on. So there's our IR. Just focus slightly. As you can see, at five times, we are getting a lot of clarity. And we come up, and right up, back up, back up, we're going up, keep going up, keep going up, David. There's our IR at our lowest settings, but bear in mind, this is the same, this is the 5 to 20 IR. And there is our clarity at 121 yards. 
And that's if I do that, obviously. Take off the IR. Let's boost up the IR a little. That's two times, three times, four times, five times, six times. That's just right, let's put the And we take it off. Turn back onto one. Battery's at less than 20%, but again, what we're setting at there. Two times magnification at 190 yards. You can't go wrong with that. But on a night like this, it's very bright. I wouldn't be using the IR anyway. On this scope. God, I can see right out. Wow. Anyway, that's the comparison. So, there it is. It just shows you how much difference an IR makes with these scopes. That laser IR from the 5 to 20 fits nicely onto three, the 3 to 12. And it works fantastically. Um, you get just as much the same range. It is just that's what this, that's what makes this scope unique. This that's what makes the Arkin Zulus unique. The interchangeable IR, how compact the unit is, and the fact that you do not need a bulky torch. You don't need one of these on the side of. Your scope. Look at this. The size of this torch is almost the same size as the scope itself. Now, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't get why scope manufacturers don't give IR like that with all their scopes now. Technology's there. 